Holy shit, I'm back in full metal! Oh my god, I never actually thought this was gonna happen! I honestly don't even remember the last time I played in full metal, that's how- Actually, wait, no, that's not true, I do. I remember I beat Boltman on three My Cousin Vinny round three questions, which was ridiculous, because I hate that movie. But I won that match, and I don't remember what happened after that, it was all kind of a hazy blur. But I'm back in full metal, I'm making a run at the singles title, which... I'm willing to say I was not expecting that, but... I'm here anyways, I'm facing Joe, and I love Joe. Joe's cool, but Joe, you're in my way. And so I have to take you down. And I hate that I have to do that, but I have to do it. I'm back, finally. Uh, it's been a while, thank you, Jeremy Adams. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting another singles match again. And Dom is a great player. Beating Caleb Oatman in singles is not easy. So yeah. I'm scared and coming back, but at least it'll be a fun game. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Full Metal Trivia Singles Edition. And it's not just singles, it's the tournament for the championship singles tournament. I am Sandy the Sandman Robinson and I am happy to be here. I cannot do this alone though, so I have brought in my good friend, Dan Skip Allen, buddy. How you doing? Hang in there, man. Yeah, this is... Uh... This is quite the uh, tournament, you know, because we had somebody step down and now everybody's chomping at the bit to try to become the next champ. And I'll tell you what, we got two great competitors tonight. We certainly do. And I mean, you mentioned the aforementioned uh, uh, Jeremy Adams, uh, who was our, our great champion for, for uh, over a year. Um, him retiring and leaving this, uh, leaving this void with the championship is... Uh, is now the benefit to everybody else that's in this tournament to try to get it. So, but you can't, you're not ever even a little bit wrong when you talk about our competitors today. We got, you know, the three in one uh, Joseph, the algorithm, Olivas, who is one half of the team champions. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this, you can't just bowl past him. And then, but then you got Dominic on, you know, Dominic, the movie nerd Rizzy at, at two and three, he's had some victories here. You know, he knows how it works and you know, I, he's been on a roll lately and I'm really happy to see that with him, but I think that's going to make this match even more spectacular than it is. Yeah. You know, I, I I've seen uh, Dominic play more in the, in the geek realm, but also I've seen him play in some classic matches and he wins classic matches of just straightforward trivia so he's gonna give uh joel joseph a run for his money that's for sure joseph doesn't ain't gonna have any kind of a walk over here with dominic that's for sure no and that's you know and you know not to you know i just want to be as fair as possible you know dominic with dustin as team lighted up those those guys they're in the team tournament and they're highly ranked so in regular trivia dom has proven that he can you know pull his own weight if not more so uh what do you say we get these guys in here and do some proper introductions yeah let's go awesome introducing first with a record of three wins and one loss a strength of directors, he is Joseph the Algorithm Olivas. And his opponent, coming in with a record of two wins and three defeats, with a strength of Steven Spielberg. Welcome, Dominic the Movie Nerd Rizzy. My thumbs are sore from playing Pokemon, and my back is killing me. Let's do this. All right. Well, there we go. Wouldn't be a match without Dominic coming up with some kind of comment before the actual match starts. So we're going to get into it right now with round number one. And I will tell you those rules. They are pretty simple. Every, each competitor will be given eight questions in various movie categories. Uh, if you do get all eight correct, you will be given a bonus question only for yourself. Um you there is no stealing each question is worth one point and you have three repeats and one challenge for the match also you will once i have finished the question you will have 15 seconds to answer and then you'll show us your written answer and verbalize your answer as well when called upon competitors are you ready absolutely yep good luck to both and your first question is in the category of recent releases 
Who voices Pikachu in Pokemon Detective Pikachu? I'll tell you, have you seen this yet, Sandy? I have, and I actually enjoyed it. I was so surprised by how much I enjoyed this movie. Yeah. I was shocked. I can All agree right. with that. I was, I was surprised and I enjoyed it. So five, four, three, two, and one. And we will start with Joseph. Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. And Dominic. Ryan Reynolds. Absolutely correct. Way to start this match off, guys. Both correct. Ryan Reynolds, again, as a smart-ass thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the category, question number two, in the category of comedy. In what city did the majority of The Hangover take place? Uh, yeah. This is why I'm not getting married, Sandy, because I don't need some of these events to happen in my life. I, I I agree. Um, <laughs> and we're going to go in five, four, three, two, and one. And we will start with Dominic this time. Las Vegas. And Joseph. Las Vegas. Again, both correct. Starting off this match fantastically. While we move into question number three, and that category is in drama. What 90s movie features a cast that includes John Malkovich, Matt Damon, Martin Landau, and Edward Norton? I love this movie. Very good movie, Sandy. Very good movie. Great cast. Yes. Well, looks like our competitors are blowing through these questions fast. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to Joseph. Rounders. And Dominic. Rounders. Three, four, three. These competitors are on fire. Yeah, you could say that again, Sandy. Um, question number four in the, ac in the category of action adventure. What action film released in 1996 stars Samuel Jackson, Gina Davis, and Brian Cox? Have you seen this film, Sandy? Yes. Yeah, so have I. That's not all I'll good. Say. Not, not quite as good as the previous questions movie, but. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're going to go in five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's go back over to Dominic. I have a long kiss good night. And Joseph. That's what I had too. The long kiss good night. Four for four. Perfect through half the questions. Okay. All right, guys. Your next question, which is question number five, is in the category of biopics. Which rapper does Lakeith Stanfield portray in Straight Out of Compton. Very good film. What a good year for uh, musical biopics, Sandy. Oh uh, yeah, I love this movie. I watch it almost maybe once a month. So really? I, 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 just, I dig it. I loved the NWA. All right, we're gonna go in five, four. Three, two, and one. Pens down. Let's start with Joseph. Might have missed my first one. Tupac Shakur. And Dominic. Yo, double G, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is correct. Dominic takes the lead. Five to four. Three questions left. All right. In the category of... Well, we always used to, we, we like saying this because it's fun to say. It's Sandy's favorite category. <laughs> it's so fun to say that. You are non-US films, right, Sandy? You love this category. Well, I mean, I am a non-US person. So. I know, I know. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was wondering if you're going to catch on there. Um, <laughs> what German film is about a woman who agrees to spend time with her practical joker father who is trying to reconnect with her? Oh, God. I cannot say enough about this movie. I love it. 
Yeah, I have no idea what this movie is. Uh, I'll say after after the, we get answers, I'll tell you. There's a little bit, a little tidbit about this movie, Sandy, that I heard a rumor about. All right, we're gonna get answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Dominic, we're gonna start with you this time. I pulled do and do not want Jack Nicholson to come in for the American remake of this movie. Tony Urban. Oh well, forget about that then. I can't give you that clue. <laughs> And Joseph. Way off the square. And we were, Tony Erdman was the correct answer. Dominic, Dominic. Get right out of my mouth, man. You're good, man. You're good. <laughs> That's what I do. Nice song. All right. So your seventh and penultimate question is in the category of actors and actresses. Who has appeared in the following films? Deepwater Horizon. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Sky High. Thank you. I'm still get, I can't. I still can't get over that last word. Dom knew exactly what I was going to say, Sandy. <laughs> Smart guys we have competing with us today, Dan. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get answers in five, four, three. Two and one pens down. Joseph. Joseph. I like all three of these movies. Kurt Russell. And Dominic. I don't know why I keep hearing Deepwater Horizon and keep confusing it with Event Horizon, but I got the right answer. It's Kurt Russell. It is. All right, Dan, let's get these guys with a last question. And just for the audience, Dominic is pulling in a perfect round so far, and if I jinxed him now, I'm going to be really upset with myself. But he has the opportunity for a nine-point round if he answers this question correctly. All right, so in the category of plot summary, name the film. A young, troubled man gets enlisted to try out for a secret agency and helps save the world from an evil tech billionaire and his bladed henchwoman. Can't really say anything about this, can you, Sandy, without giving uh, it away? Not a single thing. <laughs> but I love this movie, so. Oh, yeah. That's it's about all I can love it. All right, going to get answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. To Dominic. I think I got the perfect round. Finally, Kingsman, the Secret Service. And Joseph. I was thinking, it can't be that easy, can it? Kingsman, the Secret Service? That is the correct answer. <laughs> Dominic with a perfect <sighs> round. And he gets the bonus question all to himself. And I will ask this question of him. Nice Are job. you ready? Nice job, Dom. Thanks, Joe. Are you ready? Absolutely. What job does Chance hold for the old man at the beginning of being there? It's like uh, Joseph might know this one. All right, I need answers in five. Is it a concession stand? That is unfortunately incorrect. May I please just answer? <laughs> yes, Joseph, go ahead. Gardner. I call him Chauncey Gardner when they hear him say Chance the Gardner. Yep. All right. Well, guess what, guys? We are going to do a very quick timeout to get some score tabulations, but stay tuned. We're coming right back with round number two. All right, guys, we are back. And just before we get off to round number two, where Dan is going to tell you what the rules and the categories are, we tabulated these scores. And the score right now is eight to six in favor of the lower ranked competitor at this point, Dominic. So what a round for both of them, Dan. What do you think about that round number one? Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, like I said before the match, Dominic is coming to play. He ain't messing around. All his experience with classic and and teams and stuff like that. It, it's it's 
coming to the forefront. He's really coming after Joseph in this match. And Joseph, he's sticking in there. He, you know, Joseph's not someone to uh, overlook either, you know, so. No, it's still very close. And with round two coming up with potential steals, it can be anybody's game so far. Let's get the rules, for Dan, please. All right, the rules for round two are as follows. The leading competitor will decide to go first or second. The player going first will bet on either red or black. The wheel will be spun and will land on either a category or a color. If a color is spun, the competitor with the corresponding color will choose a category for themselves or their opponent. If the category is spun, the competitor can choose to take it or respin. If they respin, they will have to stick with whatever category the wheel lands on. From the category, the competitor will receive four questions worth two points each. Multiple choice is available, reducing the point value to one point. Opponents can steal the points available if the question is answered incorrectly. Absolutely. Tell them what yeah. those categories are, buddy. And your categories are thus. Musicals, classics, James Bond music, video game movies, Francis McDormand, heist films, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Previously On, Deep Cuts, Food Movies, Steve Martin, Directors, which is Joseph's Strength, Steven Spielberg, which is Dom's Strength, and of course, Red and Black. All right, thank you very much for that, Dan. Uh, Dominic, you are in the lead right now, so you can choose to go first or second. I'm going to go first. Okay, so choose your color as well. Black. All right, which means Joseph will be second and red. All right, so Dom, are you ready for your first spin? Yep. I'm just going to get my fancy dancy wheel to stay on your color. All right, there we go. All right, All right here we go. Your first spin Ugh, is in. Now, I got a new phone, and now every time I try to spin the wheel, I press the off button. Uh, Francis McDormand. Oh, I'm 50-50 on that. You know what? Spin again. All right. Spinning away from Francis McDormand. And there it is. Whatever you land on now, you get. Went on a rider. All right. All right, guys, we're back. That was a small snafu on my account. I forgot to take out Winona Ryder and put Steve Martin in, but after talking with the competitors, we're just going to leave the Winona Ryder slice as Steve Martin. Uh, and so Dominic has accepted Steve Martin as, oh, yeah, Steve Martin as his wheel round. So, yeah, so Steve Martin, Dan. All right, so let me just scroll down to Steve Martin. Here we go. Um, all right. Of Steve Martin Dom is. In what film does Steve Martin play the character of Mr. Chairman? Oh, that's um that's uh Looney Tunes back in action. Final answer. Two points. Jesus. <laughs> Underrated movie there. I don't think I ever saw that. Uh um, all right. Question number two in the category of Steve Martin. Who played Steve Martin's wife? in Cheaper by the Dozen film. I need multiple choice on that one. All right, your multiple choice options are thus. A, Diane Keaton. B, Rene Russo. C, Diane Wiest. Or D, Bonnie Hunt. Is it Bonnie Hunt, final answer? For one point. Yes. For one point. All right, question number three in the category of Steve Martin. Which Steve Martin film is based on the classic play Cyrano de Bergerac? I think I know it, but I want multiple choice just to be safe. Okay. Your multiple choice options are thus. A, All of Me. B, Roxanne. C, A Simple Twist of Fate. D, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I'm going to say A, final answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Joseph for the one point steal. Can I hear the options again, yes. please? Yes, you yes, you will. A, all of me. B, 
Roxanne, C, Simple Twist of Fate, or D, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Roxanne. For one point, that's a one point steal for Joseph. Yep. Roxanne! Roxanne. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Sandy. That's what I was thinking about the whole time. All right, question number four and Steve Martin. Um, who directed Bowfinger? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are thus. A, John Landis. B, Martin Brest. C, Frank Oz or D, Carl Reiner. I think it's Frank Oz, final answer. For one point, Frank Oz is correct. Nice. Worked himself right through that category. Went to multiple choice, uh, you know, for the last part, but didn't give up many points on there and got himself four big points to add to his eight already. So 12 without steals from Joseph. Joseph, are you ready for your spin? Yes. One steal for Joseph. Yep. All right. We'll get you on your color, which is red. All right. Here it comes. Uh oh. Black. Oh, oh. black. Oh no. Oh, uh, Dominic gets to pick the category. Oh, I'm torn between a couple here. Do you want to potentially steal some points? You know what? Screw it. Give him video game movies. Right, Sandy. Yep. You have fun asking these. I play video games. And I do not. I am not very good at them. <laughs> I found out I wasn't good at them when I was a teenager and I stopped playing them. <laughs> Just as a teenager? Okay. All right. Did they have movies back then, Dan? Or um, uh, video games back then? Yeah. Oh, you ever hear of Nintendo, Sandy, and Atari? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating myself. I'm dating myself. Oh, no. All right, Joseph, you've been given video game movies. Are you ready for your questions? Yes, sir. All right. Your first question. What video, what, what film based on a video game was the final film for Raul Julia before his unfortunate passing? Street Fighter. For two points. Your second question. Who directed Alone in the Dark? I hope it's the... I don't want to butcher his name, but it's U-W-E Bull, U-A Bull. Final answer. For two more points. It's Uwe Bowl. It's Uwe yeah. Bowl. Uwe Bowl. Okay. That's, hey, you spelled it, so you got it. <laughs> All right. Working himself through this category. Joseph, your third and second to last question in video game movies. The video game series Dungeon Siege is based, is the basis for what movie? Uh, I have a guess, but multiple choice just to be safe, please. Okay, multiple choice. Your options are A, Blood Rain. B, In the uh -huh. Name of the King. Sorry. In the Name of the King. Final answer? Final answer. Correct, for one point. Sorry, I'll be back. All right, so you got that on multiple choice, Joseph, and you are now on your last question, and it is, what is the subtitle? of the fourth Resident Evil film. Afterlife. For two points and the lead. Good Holy job, Joe. Holy moly. 
given a category and pulled seven out of eight points on it, Dan, that is an amazing performance in round two, especially with, you know, when it's, you, you land on essentially opponent's choice. Uh, we are going to take a small, small timeout. Uh, I know that the lead has changed. I just don't know what the actual like totals are. We will be right back. All right, we are back, and after that short break, we have, like I said, a lead change. Joseph is now leading 14 to 12 as we get into round number three. But before that, Dan, another excellent round by both competitors with, you know, Joseph getting this, you know, getting it handed to him and and not even batting an eye practically. What do you think about that round? Well, you, you said it um, before the second round started. You said that. If, if you get a category that you're not good with, you could get the multiple choice, you get steals. And the the crazy part is Dominic saddled Joseph with the category of video game movies, thinking he was going to get steals. And he was he didn't get any steals. Joseph got seven out of eight points on that. Maybe he could have chosen a different category. I don't know, you know, like I said, it's it's anybody's game and even 14 to 12 like we did we after round 1, we had a 2 point difference. This is still anybody's game because if you take that steal away that Joseph got, this game is tied. So, um, you know, I just I can't wait to get into this round and see what the finale of this game match is going to be. So, let's get right into it with the rules for round number 3. Okay? There so will be one question worth 2 points. And two questions worth four points each. There is no multiple choice available, but also no stealing. A wheel will be spun to determine the movie for each question. Players will have the option to respin only one time during round three, so choose wisely. If a movie has no questions remaining for a respective point value and a player lands on it, they will get a technical respin. The player behind will start answering questions first once that player ties or moves ahead of their opponent the other player will get their first selection each player will go back and forth answering questions until a player has been mathematically eliminated the movies selected for this match were which were given to the competitors ahead of time are easy rider the crow the disaster artist the Odd Couple, Yankee Doodle Dandy, Friday Night Lights, The Apartment, and The Favorite. So here's how we got it right now. Dominic is in uh, is behind by two points, and we need him to start answering his questions first. Now I just have to check this wheel to make sure I got all the right movies on there and not just some rando movie from another wheel. <laughs> All right, Dominic, your round is up first. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, and there's the spin. What's it going to land on? Looks like Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. So, you know what? I'm going to take the hit now. I'll spin again. Okay. Okay. Here is your final spin on this point level. The favorite. All right. Let's go. Favorite. All right. I have a queued up right here, Sandy. Do you yep. want me to go ahead? All right. All right. Your two point question, Dominic, in the favorite. Who plays Colonel Masham? Isn't that Mark Gaddis? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The answer we were looking for is was Joe Alwyn. Joe Alwyn. Oh, okay. All right, here is your, we keep sticking with Dom. Dom, this is your first of four, two four-pointers. Right. And your spin. Can't tell what it is, Sandy. It's the crow. 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 All right. It's 
scroll down to the crow. All right, your second question, which is worth four points in the crow, Dominic. And if you get this right, you'll take the lead and you'll throw it back to Joseph. On what date had Eric and Shelly planned on getting married? Halloween. Four points for Dominic. Four points. Takes the lead. Right. Takes the lead. Throws it back to Joseph. All right, and Joseph has 14 points, so he'll be asked his two-point question, which will tie him up. Joseph, are you ready for your first spin? The only thing that you can't land on is the favorite. First time without Brian. Let's do it. All right. Well, technically, that's not true. I did it for three points, but two points. First and singles. First and singles, yeah. Disaster Artist. The Disaster Artist for two points. I just saw the movie today, so I'm going to take it. All right. All right, Sandy, do you want to uh, ask this one? Or do you want me to? Um, I, I can ask it. Okay. All right, Joseph, your first two, your first question in round three, the two point question in The Disaster Artist is Who plays Greg's girlfriend, Amber? Allison Bree. For two points and ties the game. All right, so Joseph is tied it up, but we're going to ask him his three point or his first four point question and see where we end up. Joseph, are you ready for your second question? And the only one that you can't get it in is the crow. Well, I was going to ask, technically, there are two questions worth four points for the crow, yeah. right? So I could technically get still get it and get the second question, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works out. Yep. Every, every category has three, two fours, and a two. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. So you can get, land on anything, and it's still good. Are you ready for your spin? Ready. Um, Sorry for all these clarifications and rules, Sandy. It's okay. a lot. It's all good. Looks like it's the disaster artist once again. I'll take it again. Yes, please. All right. Go ahead with this one, Dan. Okay. All right. For four points, and to take the lead on. Dominic, sending it back to Dominic. What play is Greg doing a scene from in front of his glass class the day he meets Tommy? What what play is Greg doing a scene from in front of his class the day he meets Tommy? Oh shit! I'm gonna need an answer in. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question, please. Is, All right. For Joseph four points. First. What play is Greg doing a scene from in front of his class the day he meets Tommy? This is not the play I was hoping you would ask. Dang. Five. Four, three, two. Death of a salesman. And that is the incorrect answer. Dan, what was the right answer? The answer was waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot. Okay. Yeah. All right. All so right. Here we are. We are still tied. Both competitors have their last four point question left. We are going to start with. Going back to Dominic. Dominic. Yeah. With Dominic. Dominic, this is your last four point question. You've used your respin already, but you still have three repeats. Got it. Are you are you ready for your spin? Let's do this. All right, here we go. Looks like it's Friday night lights. All right. Friday night lights. All right, where are we here? There we go. All right. Dominic, to take the lead. Aside 
from Beat Him Up. What does Dawn's dad do to him the night he and Maria knock the lamp over? Five. Repeat. Four. Okay, so your first repeat. Aside from beat him up, what does Dawn's dad do to him the night he and Maria knock the lamp over? Takes away his car. Ah, unfortunately, that is the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for is he tapes a football to his hands. Okay. All right, so here is where we stand right now. If Joseph answers his second four-point question correct, he moves on in the tournament. If he does not answer it correctly, we have a tie, and we will go to a tiebreaker question. Joseph, are you ready? Yes, Andy. All right, here is your final, or not your final spin, but it is... Oh, no, you, do you use your respin already? I have not used my respin. Oh, that's right. You got the disaster article both times. Um, okay, so here is your spin. Whether you keep it or not is up to you. Looks like the odd couple. The odd couple. Let's take it, please. Okay. The odd couple. Just taking the odd couple. All right. The odd couple. Scroll down here to the odd couple. Um, I'm going to ask right. this one, okay? All right. No problem. All right, Joseph. Your four, second four-point question for the win in the odd couple. During their fight after the poker game, what does Felix almost do that Oscar tells him to do? He throws a cup to break it. And your winner, Joseph, the algorithm. Olivas! The answer Great game, Dom. Good game, Dom. Break the cup. That is an amazing, amazing finish to that game. All right, guys. We have a final score here of 18 to 16. An absolutely blistering match this was going around. We're going to get right to our winner after we speak with our unfortunate second place finisher, Dominic Rizzi. Dom, Dom, it was there. It was right there for you. You played an absolute beast of a match. You just ran up against somebody who just happened to get an old the disaster artist, you know, <laughs> get the disaster artist twice. But you held your own, you know, right up until that last question, Friday Night Lights. How do you think about your overall performance? I mean, um, if I'm being completely honest, it comes down to round two. I gave Joe a category that I figured he wouldn't do good at because video game movies are just an, it's just an awful category in general, but he got every single one right. If I'm being honest, in hindsight, I should have taken what Dan said. I should have. I should have given him my strength, Spielberg, because maybe then I could have gotten some steals. But yeah, it was just, it was it, it's my weeks. It, it's my typical week suit when it comes to these things. I, I know my stuff, but except when I don't, and I'm awful at strategy. So that's ultimately what this came down to. Absolutely. I, I, I mean, there's no... There's no question, yeah, the differential between the two and the second round between both of you guys was the difference in this match. Um, but, you know, from me personally, you did a fantastic job. You came out swinging. You know, you were ahead in round one. You were, you know, behind in round two. But you made a valiant effort all the way to make this a competitive match. Dan, you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't really have any questions. I just, I just have what I, I just wanted to say, Dom. I knew going into this match, you're going to give Joseph all that he could handle, and you really did give him everything he could possibly handle. It, you pushed him to answer the last question of the match to win the match, man. I mean, you really did a great job in this match. I just wanted to say congratulations, man. I, 
wow, what a great match you both played, and you did a great job. Thanks, guys. Hopefully I'll be back sometime before next year. Well, and that's exactly what we were just going to talk about now is, you know, you're out of the tournament, but the tournament has happened pretty early in the year. And as I've stated on Facebook, the regular season is going to start up right after this. Is there anybody, because right now you're at a two and four level um, with your with your record after today. Is there anybody out there that you have, you know, maybe a similar record to or just want to call out now for the your match in the regular season? It's just the same thing I've been saying since I started this thing. I just want to play trivia. I really don't care who I play. Perfect. All right, Dom. Well, thanks again for playing such an amazing match. Sorry it didn't work out for you, but we're going to go to our fortunate winner today. Thanks again, Dominic. You got it. And there he is, our winner today, right down to the wire. It, you know, he was looking for the right wording for that final question. I knew he knew what the answer was, but just had to word it. Joseph, you had a great round one, just not as great as Dominic, but then you yeah. get black, you get his color in round number two, and he throws the horrible category of video game movies that it's usually the death knell to anybody. And you end up going perfect, except for a one point multiple choice. You answered all those questions right, and that gave you the lead going into round number three, which obviously helped you out. How do you feel about your overall match today? And you know, what's coming up next for you? Um, Feel pretty good like yeah round one was where i started to get worried for uh for, for for the rest of the game honestly although technically i don't think i would have gotten those two like i'd heard of tony Erdman, but i didn't know what it was about so i wouldn't have gotten it uh what was the other one tupac shakur yeah i i missed that one uh probably my it. big sorry that was it for that round yeah Probably my big, but but the one that stings most is the disaster artist for waiting for Godot. I yeah. knew, like, I knew that he was like going to appear in Death of a Salesman later in the movie, and I remember them saying the character Godot. I just didn't know what the name of the play was, so that kind of stings a little bit because I just saw the movie. And yeah, other than that, uh, I, I was pretty satisfied with his performance. I, yeah, the black. Let me landing on black was scary and the the uh video game questions just happened to roll in my favor so that was pretty much it oh and thanks to kirk for putting the odd couple because i put i saw the movie for the first time a couple of days ago and i really enjoyed it he complains about people's some people's taste in movies but i gotta hand it to him he got a good movie for this list i think absolutely well i mean you're one of the higher seeds in this tournament um you've you've now moved on to the second round uh i am were you were you afraid of any other categories in round two that he you could have been saddled with besides video game movies yes steve martin i was glad he he landed on well technically went on a writer but he ended up getting the steve martin that was one i was not too sure of but those questions weren't too bad i don't think or at least if i if i got them uh some of them are hit or miss for me. I rely more on Brian for getting them, like musicals, but others wasn't too, I wasn't too scared, for, except for a few categories, but in the, in, in the end, it was in my favor for that category. Get video yeah, it worked out good for you. So, Joseph, you are actually like at the top of your bracket, side of your bracket, and now that you've gone past Dominic, your next possible opponent would either be uh, Brannon, or Ryan Permison? Do you have a preference of who you'd like to face? Because I don't believe you've faced either of those competitors before. Well, I've actually faced them both in Full Metal Classic, oh, but yeah. Full Metal Singles would be Full Metal Singles would be cool. I, I, I play either one of them. They're both nice guys. I, well, actually, uh, due to a scheduling conflict that I unfortunately didn't get, didn't take care of or trouble check to make sure it happened, I missed a match with. Uh, Brandon and Adam, we're your, your density over in Warzone, so maybe Brandon, because, just so that I can play him again, because we were supposed to play that, but to my part, we didn't get to, so. Well, uh, we will probably. we will see how that turns out. You played a fantastic match, a come-from-behind match today, um, and you, did, you didn't disappoint. Thank you again for being so awesome, and we will see you in the next round. See ya, guys. 
Well, Dan, that is going to do it for us. Uh, I don't know how much more there is we can say about this particular match. Both players brought it. They uh, they wanted into that next round. Uh, and, uh, you know, Joseph, you know, pulled out the win in the end. A two-point margin of victory, that's nothing in matches. So, um, you know, do you have anything to add? Where can people find you? Yeah, no. Uh, Joseph just got some movies in the third round uh, that he was more familiar with than what what Dominic uh, was able to get in the third round. And that made a difference. Also that giving him uh, video game movies in the second round. So th those two little things that happened in the second round and the third round made the difference in the match. And that's why Joseph had that opportunity to win the match by four points with that final question. Um, you can always find me at Dan Skip Allen on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm a film critic. I write... I write about uh, movies. There's not a lot of movies in theaters right now, so I'm doing a lot of um, retrospectives and things like that, anniversaries, like uh, Brian Dennehy died the other day, and I wrote a review of Rambo because of that. Or it was Jackie Robinson Day, so I wrote a review combining 42 and the Jackie Robinson story. So you can look forward to a bunch of anniversary reviews of, of old movies that are turning 20, 25, 30, whatever until we get back going to the movies. And I also do a show called the top five weekly where uh, myself and a guest dis discuss a topic and the whole entire month of May, we're doing classic topics because once again, there's no movies in theaters. So we're doing classic topics. So uh, yeah, stay, uh, be on the lookout for all the uh, top five weekly episodes uh, in the month of May. Absolutely. Thanks so much for being here today with me again, Dan. I really appreciate you. So uh, my name is Sandy Sandman Robinson, and you can find me all over Full Metal Trivia, Singles Teams, Geek, and um, and Classic. Um, you know what? We do we try our best to give you guys some entertainment, and we're really hoping that, you know, more people come out and watch the content that we're playing out now that we're stuck inside for, for the majority of the time. I don't, when this match drops, I have absolutely no idea whether or not we'll be back to living uh you know a different type of uh reality than we are right now but uh you know for all of us at full metal trivia please please stay safe wash your hands social distance do all of those things to keep everybody safe because everybody especially everybody in the world is important and especially in full metal trivia all of you who make us, you know, happy doing this. Um, we want you all to be safe as well. So until next time, have fun, watch movies. <laughs>